it's a arrow design using a, just a very basic scan or using Photoshop itself just to quickly create an arrow. It's a very basic arrow, but it's an arrow that uh, you can then use, of course, add it to a library and much more. Now, got some images here. I've just quickly drawn those and I've scanned those in. Just go in File and Import and Images from Device. So I've just scanned those in. I'm not going to do that now. It's quite noisy and oh, it's there. So what I'm going to do, just going to select one of those. Now, if I actually select that one, just select that, and then go to, obviously I could copy that and use that, but if I define brush preset or etc., use it as a layer at this point, it's actually quite noisy. So I want to get rid of some of the noise in that. So just quickly control C, copy it, and just paste it into another document. So, right there. Okay, now, once I've done that, I'm going to flatten that. I'm going to go for select. Now, I'm certain if you've got some, some nice masking tools, selection tools, etc., you could obviously do probably better. Than that. I must admit, not an area that uh, I'm a specialist in. So I'm just going to go select, select and mask. And what I just do, just going to use defaults. Just going to click there, click there. And you can obviously modify these settings just to think. But that's just a quick way of getting the brush. So what I'm going to do now. I want to invert, so there's the actual brush. I always find it easier to click around there than actually in that centre bit. Obviously everyone has preferences. So now, once you've actually done that, I'm going to go for selection. So just click OK. Now that's been selected. Now I can just then add it to a library or go for uh, edit and define brush preset. So click OK. So it's been saved as brush and go now new and just that. And I can just go quickly go to the brush tool and you can see the brush there. It's been added. So it's a quick and easy brush that you can. Now, of course, I just go up here, new, just going to create something a bit bigger. But that's one of the nicest ways of doing it. Very easy. Just quickly create your own brushes. If you've got a scanner and just use it that way. But another way you can do it, of course, you can just go over here and you can just, and I'm just going to go with the default one. You can set the size a bit higher than that. You can just quickly add a brush that way. It's not particularly elegant. Of course, you've got maybe an art, art pad and pen. You can tweak that very nicely just by just drawing a straight line. Hold the shift down, draw a straight line, and then you can just draw a bit there. Or you can maybe use some of the other tools, such as I'm just going to quickly go down here, just select here the polygon, and you can just quickly go over here to sides three so you can just create a quick triangle to make something ah, I don't know that one would help to actually not go for the star option so just get rid of the star option and then just draw that design turn that around so you get an arrow yeah just like that so you've actually got the arrow design there if you want to just use it you can obviously combine a drawing with the shape perfectly okay now there's also another thing you can do if you want more sort of conventional straight line just quickly go over here and again just hold the click go over there and you can just draw a straight line that way now actually sometimes what i do is actually just go to view and show and grid so i can actually see the grid i mean it makes it just easier so i just get rid of that so i can actually click there click there so you can create a nice click there click back up that bit and click there and click back there so you've got a nice little arrow design now if you actually want to use it as a layer obviously the best thing to do is before you do that is just go to layer new layer create it like that and you can of course just do it quickly again so there click there click there click there and click there click there and click there so you've actually got the design as a layer and you just go to layer layer start drop shadow you can see you've got the arrow design which again you can go and define it as edit define brush preset or define pattern just very quick and easy arrow design now of course you could go for more elaborate arrow designs maybe create it out of 3d designs combine lots of other elements into it as well make it much more maybe add some little see feathers at the end there whatever you want to do with the arrow design hope you found this of interest thank you much